Hey folks, welcome to Marshable Math. Today let's talk about exponent rules and I've got a rather unique way of explaining it and helping students remember. So get your pencil paper calculator because the pencil is the tool of the mind but you might not even need a calculator for this one. If you can add, subtract, just simple numbers and do maybe simple multiplication, you'll get it. So let me share my screen with you. Here's the notepad. There we go. All right, so let's see here. An exponent means repeated multiplication, and the exponent tells us how many bases are multiplied. Just by way of a real quick review, what I'm talking about here is if I said 3 squared, that equals 9. 3 right here is the base. That tells you what's being repeatedly multiplied. The exponent here, that tells you how many bases, and then 9 then is the, the final answer or the power. But what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to arrange this in what I call the Tower of Math. Um, and so the Tower of Math is built on the ground level here. It's got three stories or three floors, a room on the left and a room on the right. The room on the left there, addition, that's the, uh, that's the most basic thing you can do with numbers is add them. The opposite of that or the inverse would be subtraction. Now, if you repeatedly add the same number, that's multiplication. So 2 times 3 means 2 plus 2 plus 2. You've got three twos that you're adding together. That's multiplication. So the next higher level up is going to be multiplication from addition. And the opposite of that, or the inverse of that, is division. Actually, division is repeated subtraction of the same number, if you think about that. But if you repeatedly multiply something, that's an exponent. So e goes up here on the third floor, and the opposite of an exponent is a root. It could be a square root. It could be a cube root. And then up here, there's some parentheses. We lose those later on. But here's how you would use them for the exponent rules. What you would do to determine what the exponent rule is, is you would start... with deciding what's the operation on the bases. And so you would go to the Tower of Math and you would pick wherever you are, what are you doing with the bases? Let's say you're multiplying them. If you're multiplying the bases, then you drop down one level for the operation on the exponents. So if you're multiplying the bases, you drop down one level, straight down, and then it tells you you need to add the exponents. If you're dividing the bases, you drop down a level and that tells you to subtract the exponents. And if you're raising an exponent to another one, you drop down a level and it tells you to multiply. So let's put this to use here, see if we can get some here in the, in the field of view. So the directions are to simplify, if possible, because sometimes you can't use an exponent rule. Using exponent rules, leave your answer in exponent form, which is b the base to some n in exponent. So I'm looking here at number one. Number one says 5 to the 4th times 5 to the 7th. The bases have to be the same. So are the bases the same here? Yes. The exponent's 4 and the exponent's 7. What am I doing with the bases? Well, the operation right there is multiply. So I would start at the multiplication level right here, and then I would drop down one level, and it tells me I need to add the exponents. So to simplify this, I would say, well, keep the same base, 5, to the 4 plus 7, or I would say 5 to the 11th, then, is the answer for that one. Does that make sense? You're like, boy, that seems like magic. Well, let me, let me prove to you that it works. 5 to the 4th, isn't that 1, 2, 3, 4 fives multiply together? Yes, it is. And then I got this multiply again, so another multiply, and then I've got 7 more fives. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, six, seven. So now if I count them all up, these are all the same bases that are being multiplied together. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's five to the eleventh. Do you see that I have four of them right there plus seven more? And so when I add them total, I've got eleven all together. There we go, five to the eleventh. It's kind of neat, huh? I really don't want you to have to do all of this. I want you to just be able to use the exponent rules. What do you do with 4 and U7 to get the answer? You add them together. Okay. How about number, whoops, let's go to number 2. Number 2 is 7 cubed raised to the 5th. Now, this is raising an exponent to another exponent. 
So where do I start there on the Tower of Math? That's at this level right here. That's at the exponential, exponential, I can't say it. Exponentiate level. Drop down one level and it will tell you what to do with the exponents as the rule. So I multiply them. So this is, keep the same base. This is seven to the three times five or seven to the 15th. Now, if you wanted to, you could like write it all out longhand like I did there on number one, but you shouldn't have to, just multiply them. Number three, 12 to the 10th divided by 12 to the fourth. Are the bases the same? Yes. So what do you do with the exponents when you divide bases? Well, you're gonna start up division and then you're going to drop down one level and it says subtract the exponents. Now it's always the numerator exponent minus the denominator exponent. So you keep the same base and you're gonna say 10 minus four and that answer would be 12 to the sixth. And if you wanted to, you could like write yourself a fraction with 12, uh, 10 12s all lined up on the top of the numerator and then four 12s on the bottom of the denominator and then get them to cancel one to one and you'd have six left over on top. Okay, so when you're dividing the bases, you subtract the exponents. Now, what about this? Um, you can't use an exponent rule for number four. The bases are not the same. So you might be able to call this 36 times eight or something like that, but you can't use an exponent rule. In order for there to be an exponent rule, the bases have to be the same. So I would say this one can't be simplified with an exponent rule. I would just leave it like that, okay? Now, there's a couple things to avoid. When you're doing the rules, don't change the bases. A lot of students wanna take this one here, number one, and they, they see five times five. And so they wanna say, oh, well that's 25. And then they wanna add and say 25 to the 11th, but that's wrong. How many, what was the base that we had when we wrote it all out? I had 11 fives all along the bottom here when I did it longhand. I've got 11 fives. I don't have 11 25s. It's not 25 times 25 times 25 times 25. Don't multiply the bases together. And don't divide out the bases either. A lot of times students want to come in here to the, to the division one and they're so used to being in fourth grade and going, oh, 12 divided by 12, that cancels out. So my answer is just 10 fourths. And then maybe they reduce that to five, six, no. 10 and the four are not numbers that are in the numerator and denominator. It's telling you how many 12s there are. And four is telling you how many 12s there are in the denominator. So you don't cancel the bases. So that's it in about a nutshell. You can't do it when you add either. If I had, I'll do one last one down here. If I had something like um, six to the fifth, plus six to the seventh. What's the exponent rule when you add the bases together? We'll go up to the Tower of Math again, and you'll see, oh, I'm gonna start it, I'm gonna start at addition, and I'm gonna drop down one level, but you can't. There's no basement in the Tower of Math. There might be maybe a dungeon if you go to it. There's no rule for addition. You can't simplify that into any kind of, of single rule. You can figure out what six to the fifth is and add it to six to the seventh, but you can't do an exponent rule to get it down to a single base to an exponent. Now, what you will see in a lot of textbooks is what I'm gonna show you over here on the side. Um, they will show you this. This is how you'll see it in a book. You'll see b to the m times b to the n is equal to b to the m plus n. They're saying that a base to an exponent times the same base to a different exponent, you add them. But my method says, hey, you're multiplying the bases, drop down a level, it tells you to add them. You just have to memorize this if you're doing it like out of a textbook, but the tower helps you sort it out. That's the product rule. Um, another one says b to the m divided by b to the n is gonna be b to the m minus n. You always take the numerator exponent minus the denominator exponent It's a quarter after the hour. But you don't cancel the bases, you keep the same base. This is the quotient rule. But the Tower of Math tells you, hey, if you're dividing the bases, drop down a level, subtract the exponents, waha, it's right there.
And then the last one that is part of this group is to say that b to the m raised to the n is equal to the b to the m times n. That when you're raising an exponent to an exponent, you multiply. How are you going to remember that? Well, the tower tells you, hey, start at exponent, drop down one level. You're going to multiply them. So um, I think it's pretty neat. I certainly didn't make up the rules, but the, the organizing it as a tower and dropping down one level, that's my idea. I think it's a pretty good idea. I don't know. What do you think? Tell me in the comments if you like. Anyway, that's all for now. Hope you learned something and hope you're doing well. Bye-bye.